Hi class, I'm Karen Coase, oh, and it's time to dip Dickie and have the fun. For the Dickie fun time, I'm going to teach you how to make your very own homemade slime, slime along with the chemical structure. First, homemade slime is the same chemical structure and composure that is in stores and on TV. But when you make it at home, you can teach your kids that the science behind the slime. I mean, teachers and scientists is all around the world use slime making in the classroom to show their students minutes, minutes how molecules in a non neutronium flow uh, act, such as in slime, oak clay, silly clay, and play doh. Universities all over the states use slime also to show how polymer uh, molecules act to one another. Today, I'm going to show you who to make your very own slime teach you a little science along the way for the kids. First, you're going to need a bowl. You have to see what I'm doing. And then you're going to need a measuring cup. Up. And mixing utensil. Bottle of glue, four ounces. Clear or white. Right. Right. Water. Always measure to one fourth of a cup. And liquid starch. Oh, and your choice of food coloring. First we start with adding the glue to the bowl. So we need to take the whole cap off, it'll be a lot easier. Now the glue is the polymer in this experiment. Polymers are long change with OH molecules on the outer ribs. Luigi allows it to have more connections to other molecules that have OH. a cup of water and mix it up. At this point where you want to add your coloring, I'm going to make mine green. Get that fish it, make the slime. The slime uh, I'm coloring in green. Now we didn't need too many. Three dots to be more than efficient. Still very liquidy. The reaction starts when you add the liquid starch. One cup. And almost immediately it started to harden. See? Yeah. As it hardened, because you don't have to take your hand in there. To, until it becomes a solid form, which it wouldn't actually come in very quick. Now, this shows polymer as a large molecule oh, connecting to each other through chemical bonds. Or if the glue a stronger chemical bond. Very fun to play with. Now, this is because glue is a polyethanol. Glue reacts to the borax in the starch. That's because borax is a, you know, sorry, I pick it all up once, is a sodium triboride. Okay, I'm going to put my hands in there. And so we add triboride. Boride, to water, it becomes the O O H four ion. Ions are very much attracted to other H O molecules, which have as mission where the glue was a whole lot of H O molecules. So this calls a crisp lock connection between the ethanol change forming the slime. The way to actually show how this is through a diode that I have. Now, as I mentioned, this is the glue. It's a long chain with all the C molecules and then the OH on the outer rings. This, this is the 
um, starch with the water molecules on the edge. And when you have OH molecules on two different forms, forms compounds, this happens. Hydrogen bonds. This big chain here, here is a polymer. A polymer. Uh, uh, and this chain is a polymer. They are not connecting to each other, but they are both connecting to a borax ion through these hydrogen bonds. Now, a good way to actually show this is with necklaces. Hydrogen bonds are like a bag of necklaces. This is the glue before we got uh, I added the dark. Now, do you see the red one? I'm going to try to pull it out. And what did I get? Just the red one, because they're not interlocked together. This bag here is that of the one with the glue. If I had to try to grab one of these silver ones, I can't. So they're all interlocked together. That the glue and the starch due to the glue. This is a good way to show oh, 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 how glucose polymer or ch change 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 with the borax starch. Now, now, slime shows a very hard form. Now, this is the one I made earlier. This fully mix. If I hit it with a boom, the boom won't go in. Pick it up. But when I let it set, it becomes liquid thick. And if I put the boom in there, it will swallow the boom home. This science is a fun way to teach the kids about the molecule structures in household items. It's quick, easy, fun, and give you a to brand new toy to play with, which probably have the kids. Well, best line.